All right, so everything's all painted, um, ready to rock and roll. Um, I've laid everything out on the carpet that I had. I bought, um, what was it, two and a half metres, I think, as a guesstimate before. Um, there's an extra thing now, we've got the original back boat seat, which I'm now going to re-carpet, just because everything else is re-carpeted for the sake of the tiny bit extra, I might as well do it. So everything's all laid out. Yeah, and I was half a metre short, so ducked into town, had to get some stainless steel screws anyway, so I've got another extra half a metre which is pretty much that back seat plus a little bit extra, so um, ready to go. So what we'll do, I've got a couple of um, trestles under here just to make things easier to lay it out. So I've pretty much worked out where everything's got to go. So we'll just start cutting them out, um, giving ourselves about roughly up to 50 mil around the edges so we can fold them over. Um, I'll get the staple gun out, the air one, and that's got stainless steel staples I bought ages ago. Um, so we can pin all that down and we've got quick grip as well. So. I think we're all set, so we'll start um, trimming it out and folding it around. Okay, so then it's just a matter of laying out your pieces of timber uh, the way you want them. Uh, in this case, we'll flip them upside down, so this is the bottom of the board, which makes sense, so we want them faced on the other side. So, <coughs> excuse me, just need enough room to have enough to fold it over, glue it and staple it, which we have there, and then you can just basically cut out your shape, give yourself enough overhang for that to fold over, and then cut it out. Awesome shears. Stand might be easier, but I end up cutting the trestle that's underneath it. Don't really care. It's just a matter of gluing it, folding it over later. So anyway, we'll go around and cut out all our shapes first, and then we'll set them all up for gluing. Just put these aside, make sure they don't get mixed up. Okay, next job is to um, basically glue this carpet onto our boards. Uh, if there's been any big drips hanging off the bottom of the boards, I'll just trim them off with a standing blade because uh, it went pretty heavy on the paint. I'll just shave a little bit off, it doesn't really matter. Alright, so what we do is a little bit there hanging as well. Underneath won't really matter. Alright, so what we do, we get a quick grip. This is fast grip this stuff. I'll quickly um, text the line around this board here. So this two part contact adhesive um, you put on both sides or whatever you're trying to stick. Uh, and I'm only going to do this with the floor and anything like the seats where it's going to get a bit more of a, a bit more usage. Um, what we do is swipe it on. Absolutely stinks this stuff. I've got the door open to get some fresh air coming through. So, all we do is basically slap it on where you want it to stick. I'm just going to do around the edges very roughly. You, can, you don't actually have to use this at all. You can just staple it, which I've done plenty of times and it seems to work. But for the floor part here, I just want it so it's not going to 
uh, lift up if you're you know pushing on the floor. I don't want any ripples in the middle. I'll put a little bit in the center as well, just to pin it a little bit. So we'll do this to both sides. You leave it for about 20 minutes, or on a day like today, it's pretty cool outside. We might even be up to you know half an hour to 40 minutes until it just goes tacky. And then you put the two halves together. I should have got a bigger can of this, but I don't really want to glue the whole floor. If you ever want to change it later, it is a pain. Just do it in a few bits where we want it. To our board half as well, where we want that to stick. A lot easier on this, not as doesn't soak in as much. You don't want it on too thick, you just want it so it's just a nice even film covering it. That'll start going tacky and you stick two halves together. Anyway, I can't see this being very exciting to watch, so I'm going to stop it there and I'll, I might even do it in hyperlapse. So, all we're doing is Doing that, I'll show you when we've drawn it back together. Okay, so that's been about 15 minutes. We've got a fairly good breeze coming through here at the moment. So that's gone pretty much uh, tacky. So what you do, you grab the other half. Make sure I get the right one. And we'll lay that on top. This is where your texting line comes in handy. So we can line it up pretty easily. Line up the text for there and just simply drop that on top, like so. And what we can do then, that should be stuck on there a little bit. But I just got a bit of an off cut of PVC, just give that a little bit of a rub. Two together. I'll do the same with this other one and then I'll show you the rest of that. So you could do this process all in one go and just paint the whole bit of carpet uh, in one, one crack and then you basically can fold all this over at the same time. I like to do it with the floor at least anyway. I want to do it in two sections. So all I'm going to do is a little bit of the edge where I know this is going to fold around to. It takes a little bit longer for the glue to go off and weight again, but at least this way I've got this nice and centred where I want it. And you can take the time. And then you know, it's mainly because of the floor I want this to be pretty much spot on. The other pieces of the boat I'm not too worried about. We're just going to glue the top bits, or the edges I should say, around the top, and then the rest is just going to get stapled. But this particular piece I'll glue the edges nice and tight because this might have a bit of water on it and it'll get the most amount of wear. So once it's had a bit of time to go off again uh, basically the two sides are a bit tacky now. Um, what you can do then is just start wrapping it around and stapling it. So each shape is going to be different. Uh, just sort of, I'll just sort of wing it a bit and work out what's going to work. Um, it's probably a professional way of doing it, but this seems to work. 
I'm um, using a staple gun with stainless steel staples and they're only just big enough to go through the pin it into the um, wood here so really the glue holds most of it but really the glue is only as good as the paint you've just put on so I like to put a few staples in and it can't go anywhere so anyway we'll see how we go
All right, that's good. All right, that's good. That's mm. too much glue. All right, that's it for this episode, guys. Um, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, hit the like button and subscribe. That'd be great. Um, yeah, basically next episode we're going to try and fit all this out in the boat. Hopefully it all fits. So, yeah, it's been a big day, so I've had enough. See you on the next one.